Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay, whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative claims of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So what we have had excuse me what we have out here is someone is planning to come towards you with some type of false offer uh someone is a bit of a gaslighter this could be a masculine that's been watching you for quite a while you're trying to figure out how to approach you there has been some type of plan that's been taken that's been uh being orchestrated for a long time but it's not going to work this is by a group of people in a community um there's a masculine and a feminine that's been watching you stalking you this is a queen of wands and a king of pentacles in the reverse uh king of wands energy as well in the reverse someone is quite reckless out here with a lot of different things in a lot of different ways someone may believe that you and them have some type of contract together and um yeah this is something they're hoping that you can come to your awareness like they're like hey you didn't know this but you and i are twin flame oh i didn't know before but you and i are twin flame you're you two are not twin flame or if you are this lifetime, you two are not meant to be together because someone has not done the work to heal and someone is not quite willing to do the work to heal. Someone could even be married um, and maybe going through some type of divorce proceedings at the moment. Um, and they are going to be losing quite a lot during this divorce proceedings or something like that. But what I picked up on is that a masculine is planning on coming towards you to give you some type of offer. And he's hoping that you're going to receive an offer from him or accept an offer from him. I think that you're probably going to reject this person because this is not someone that I'm getting like a positive energy from. This is someone that's quite reckless and has a lot of options. The Knight of Wands energy for me is someone that has a lot of options when it comes to the people they lay with and things like that. And you as an Empress energy, this is just not something that matches with you. There is someone in this person since life that was that was pretending which would be a queen of wands more more than likely that was pretending to be someone in the upright but it turns out that she's just as reckless as him this is the god's honest truth um so it's like two karmics met they are a match so i mean you know they might as well be stay together um, they've been having some type of um, affair or something like that. Um, this karmic at, that he has been with has been plotting something for quite a while because this is someone that goes both ways as well. And he does as well. They're into all kinds of activities and things like that. What she's been doing, because this is someone that pretended to be an empress until she could get a get a hold of this masculine and trap him in some way somehow. Um what she's been planning, and this is something someone has been planning for a long time, is to somehow get you involved in some type of three-way relationship with them. Um, but you're not interested because you're not someone that resides in that kind of vibration. You're someone very high vibrational. This is a little bit too low for you. Um, this masculine wants to come towards you, give you an offer. It's going to try to be someone that's committal, but this is someone that's non-committal. So it doesn't matter how long this person tries to be in the upright, tries to invest into a relationship with you. It's always going to be a tower because this is someone that likes to have options. He likes to have options. And this is something that weighs him down. It burdens him, right? Someone is absolutely into having options. So it doesn't matter how hard this person try until they go and get legal help or professional help, something like that. He'll always be out here with options. Okay. And he wants you to know he likes to have options. So the karmic that he's leaving or he's leaving on the side of the road, like he's telling her like, Hey, sit down, sit right here. Stay right here. Okay. Yeah. Stay right here. I'm going to go try and get my divine feminine. No, 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 no. That divine feminine is minding their business, trying to heal, focus on their life and things like that. Waiting for a solid commitment that is coming in their life that will be balancing things out because there is someone coming towards this woman that he's interested in that is actually someone that's a high level soulmate. So even, yeah, and this is someone who's like an ascended master. So is the woman that this karmic male has his eyes on. So you could be someone that's self-sufficient and this masculine wants to come towards you to put an end to your self-sufficiency and things like that. Someone wants you to get so consumed in their world that everything becomes what part of 
part of like everything in your life becomes a part of their life but it's like they have control of your life so think of it as like you meet like a wealthy man like a celebrity or something and you're dating them and you get accustomed to their lifestyle and things like that you get accustomed to having chauffeurs maids cooks and things like that people that that you know plan your outfits out and things like that things like that kind of don't sit well with me because i like to be into everything like i like to have my hand in anything that pertains to me or my family so no thank you but think of being in that situation where it's like everything is done for you provided for you i mean they may even brush your teeth if you ask them to and then all of a sudden one day he's watching you as you're getting comfortable and acclimated into this lifestyle right and then one day while well, he comes in and puts an end to everything, right? Now he's trying to control you and he tells you, hey, you got to do this with me or I'm going to uh, put an end to this, um, you know, this lifestyle that you've become accustomed to. Like let's, like, let's say they are giving you money every like week or something. And all of a sudden they want you to participate in like threesomes or something like that. I'm just giving this as an example because these two, the energy that I'm getting are, it's a masculine and a feminine is extremely reckless out here with their body, right? And he tells you, hey, if you don't do this with me, I'm going to take this away. I'm going to stop giving you an allowance. I'm going to stop doing this, doing that. This is why I always promote or advocate for women to be self-sufficient. Yeah, I don't care how much money you make, how much money you don't make compared to other people. Focus on what it is that you have going on in your life and appreciate that. I don't care if you work at McDonald's for seven twenty-five per hour. That's your money that you work for. Be proud of it. Um... But let's say you're dependent on this person, you know, they're, la they're, they're funding your lifestyle and everything, and then they get you indulging in things that you will have never indulged in, and then they start blackmailing you or trying to control you like a puppet and things like that. This is what I'm getting from this masculine that I'm picking on, picking up on. So it's like he, he may even be going through a divorce, wanting to come towards you to give you an offer, like he wants to come in and say, hey, um, because he knows you are a divine feminine, so he wants to come in and say, hey, I'm divorced now. I'm single, blah, 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 blah. But behind by, behind the scenes, like this man still wants to have options. So he's going to play his role, right? He's going to play his role and make it seem like he's master himself. He's now disciplined. And this is going to go on for maybe, what, three months or something like that. And then bang, surprise, back to the reckless way of being, right? Um, because someone has not done the work to heal, they're not going to be a good match for you. So I don't care how good looking someone is or how much money they have. They're not worth your time if they're not willing to put, it, to put in the energy to heal. But this is something um, where he met his match, basically. So it's like a, a, a masculine met you and another feminine at the same time. One is karmic and the other is in the upright. One is a healer. Okay, like you have some type of healing ability. Um, maybe he wasn't aware of it. And because he resides in his lower energy, it might be something or it may be something that repulsed him at a, at a specific time. Like it turned him off. Or it's that he realized that you were not someone he could manipulate. So he rejected you and went with the karmic energy. There is something that has taken place between he and this karmic energy. It could be like something that has to do with an illness or something like that. Or she is just extremely reckless or he's pissed off that she's been pretending to be an empress. I mean, you can't blame her. You're no different, right? So now he's gone with this woman. He's found out the truth that she's not an empress. And now he's putting an end to it. Mind you, this is someone that's also married. It's what I'm getting. So it's like some type of just ending that he's going through. He's like, I'm putting an end to this. I'm not going to be with this karmic anymore. I'm going through a divorce. When I go towards this empress energy, I'm going to tell her that I'm single now and I'm going to play well for a while. And then I'm going to go right back to my old lifestyle. So this is something this man is planning is how to come in and deceive you. Someone is absolutely on Google or some type of search engine trying to figure out how to manipulate what uh someone that is self master someone that's disciplined someone that's celibate someone that's abstinent whatever this is someone that has control of their mind body and soul and their emotions he's trying to figure out how to come in and manipulate you and until this masculine chooses to do things the right way or do does right by you he's not allowed to be with you and it pisses someone off to hear that from 
like when I said that, some type of anger kicked in. Someone is pissed off at the fact that they're not an option for you. You're not an option for them until they do right. So it does not matter how manipulative they think they are. You're always going to see through this person. So whatever offer they're coming in to give you is not a genuine offer. So you, it's, it's not accepted. It's something that has been not if avoid by the universe if this was your twin flame which i think it was but this lifetime he's just not who he's supposed to be he's not fulfilling his end of the bargain the end of the contract so this contract with him is void okay it's not going anywhere you will be connecting with a higher level so mid soul source is creating a new path for you with someone that is high vibrational just like you they reside on the same frequency as you but this is someone that does not say exactly what it is they need to say whoever this higher level soulmate is that you're supposed to be with is someone that's a bit of a recluse they may be going through some type of heartbreak as well so you and this person are going through some type of betrayal or you went through some type of betrayal and this masculine is going through the same thing you've come out of your betrayal now he's going through his but when the time comes he will go for it and give you an offer and it will be something successful okay but whoever this first character is is coming towards you yeah they know that you may reject them and they are afraid of it they're still going to try to force themselves into your energy because i'm saying force because they've already been told in some way somehow that you and them do not have a contract together anymore but this is someone that's very stubborn Okay, this could even be someone that has people behind the scenes. Yeah, he's very stubborn. He's going to go for it. He's still going to go for it. This could be someone that has people behind the scenes telling him how. Yeah, and when he goes for it, it's going to be a tower because you're moving on with your life. Okay, you're moving on. This could be someone where people are telling him how to carry himself. Like he's studying you from a distance so he can know how to behave himself, how to carry himself just so he can come into your energy and sneak you because he's trying to force you to see him as an option. Okay. And again, this could be someone that has a wife, but they could be going through some type of divorce. Okay. Because, um, I don't know what it is, but there's something about this man where it's just like he likes to have option. And something I've never understood is why people that like to have options even bother to get in relationships, even bother to get married. If you like having options, why not just stay single and live your best life? Why not just stay single and live your best life? Stop, yeah, stop wasting other people's time with your illusions. Let's stay single and have your options. But this man sees you as some type of mountain to conquer. Um, and he does not realize that he's been self-sabotaging himself. This is why he's been kept away. Yeah, like you're keeping away from this person. Because he's coming towards you with some type of ulterior motive to ensure a victory for himself. And this is the God's honest truth. It's going to lead to a tower. Like whatever action this person is planning on taking to come towards you is going to end up weighing them down. You're not having a new beginning with this man because someone has not done the work to heal. They, they want to come. They may even want to come in like to pay you like someone is like and I don't want to say desperate because this is someone that thinks very highly of themselves in a very uh, convoluted way. Uh, I mean, we do live in a convoluted universe, but okay. This is someone that just has some type of distorted way of thinking. It's like, it's their way or the highway. They got to force it. If you're not willing to go along, along with what it is they're doing. It's like, I hear someone saying we can do this, do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. And you're just looking at them. Like when you're done entertaining me, just know that my ancestors are going to be handing it to you. Right? So someone is that fixing to get a ASS whooping that he's just not ready for, but it is going to happen. Someone is about to go through some type of rude awakening. And when he comes out of it, because this is someone again, that likes to self-sabotage, even when the truth is exposed to him, he'll still turn a blind eye and pretend like he doesn't see it. He's trying to force it because this is someone who is a narcissist. He likes to get his way. It, he's never not been able to get his way. Someone is very vain into their looks. They're used to their looks getting things for them. Someone may be offended by how you, maybe you rejected them or you said something they didn't like. 
but it's not that you are trying to hurt someone. It's just that they are having a hard time seeing things clearly. So sometimes you have to see certain things so people can understand exactly where it is you're coming from because their perspective is limited, right? So this offer is going to be rejected. He's going to be left out in the cold. There's no way around that because someone is just not on your frequency. And that's not to say that you are better than this person. Nobody is better than anybody else. But when people put in the work to actually heal and recover and ascend and, you know, be balanced in their life, they deserve to be with people that are healed, recovered and balanced in life. They don't need to be with people that choose to be low vibrational. Because this masculine chooses to be in this energy, this is something he's committed himself to, okay? And he's uh, uh, he's determined to defeat you. So even though he is going through a divorce from his wife, again, this is someone that's married, this is all a plot. It's like, I don't care how far I have to go to, to defeat you. This is someone that, does, that, that may even want to come in and get you pregnant just so they can block you. It's like, oh, I slept with her, now she's pregnant. And yeah, they want to get you pregnant. Now she's pregnant and she can't connect with anyone else. You and this man are never going to be in the same bed. Nothing. This could even be someone that's planning to invite you to like a hotel or something. You're not meeting with this person in a hotel. Listen, I don't know what is wrong with someone's mindset. There is something wrong with a masculine's mindset. I don't like someone has a lot of healing to do, but they are avoiding it. And they spend a lot of time watching you, trying to figure out on how they can burden you. They want to communicate with you and things like that and tell you how they have feelings for you and this and that. Even though they have feelings for you, they still want to have options. Like he still wants to live as a bachelor. He said, yeah, I could end up marrying you, but I still want to be a bachelor. Nobody has time for this nonsense. Nobody has time for this nonsense. This is him 24-7 sneaking around. Like, this is not someone, I'm telling you, sneaking. This is not someone that you're going to be committed to and he's going to commit to you. He may be committed to you for three weeks or three months, and then it's the end. He said, oh, I caught it quit. I can't do it. I'm back to my old ways. And then you find yourself married to this person, have a baby with this person. You're stuck with them. They're going out and dodging in their options and things like that. And then they come home causing illusions to make you believe that they are seclusive or whatever, reclusive, exclusive, whatever it is. Yeah, like they're reclusive or exclusive, whatever the word is. I think it's exclusive. They're not exclusive. This is someone that's just a narcissist. And you know, narcissists, when they don't get their way, it's a problem. They say, oh, oh, you, 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 you what? You're not giving me what I want. You're not going along. I'm coming up with a way on how to defeat you. And I will be successful. No, you're not. No, you're not. It's, no, 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 you're not. Someone is about to be humble. They're about to go through some type of lesson that's going to be really embarrassing but it's necessary so that this person can go through the ascension that they need to. After this lifetime, they won't have to go through this cycle again. I'm telling you, this is a cycle he has to go through. Someone is that stuck in their mind about you moving on. You've never dated this person, by the way. But someone goes to get like readings and things like that. And they found out that you two may be twin flames. And he said, I'll be damned if she goes off to, with someone else. I'll be damned if she goes and get married to someone else and lives in peace and be happy with someone else. Right. Thriving in life. Right. He said, nah, that ain't happening, but it is going to happen. So he may want to take some type of action because someone is stuck in their mind, don't know how to get out of it. He may take some type of action to come towards you and it's going to lead to a horrible tower for him. Like someone already has a lot of conflict going on behind the scenes. It's like someone initially, maybe they wanted to connect with you, but their family and friends said, no, don't do it. Right. Because, uh, you know, they're not like us. They're different, you know, they, they don't fit in our family. Someone said that you didn't fit into their lifestyle or something. So they went with a Jesse Bell just like themselves. And they said, Don, why, if you made your choice to go with the Jesse Bell, it didn't work out. Why are you now coming after someone you rejected already? Like the rejection should be final. It's been finalized. Like you told spirit. Yeah, it's finalized as above, so below. It's finalized. Like you told spirit, I don't want this uh, high vibrational person. 
They make me feel, yeah, you talk to spirit. I'm told you. It's, people don't understand. Your, your tongue is very powerful. Your tongue is very powerful. You basically told spirit when you were sitting and gossiping about someone because the uh, page of source keeps coming up. Someone gossips a lot. You basically told spirit you didn't want to be with a high vibrational person, right? Because you met someone that enabled you to continue their bachelor lifestyle, their reckless lifestyle. You said, oh, well, I, I resonate with this karmic a lot easier than this high vibrational person. So it must mean that I'm supposed to be with the karmic. No, the person you were having a hard time uh, resonating with, the person that challenged you, that's the person you were supposed to go with because they were going to get you out of your element and help you heal. This karmic ain't going to help you heal nothing. They are there to enable you to keep you in toxicity. So that's why they're okay with you doing whatever you want. That's why they're okay with you bringing anyone home with you. It, like It's so straightforward. As easy as ABC, but people complicate it. Whenever you are living a toxic lifestyle and it becomes overbearing for you, you feel exhausted. You're like, I want a way out and source gives you a way out and you meet someone that's different from you and talks to you in a way that helps you see things from a higher perspective. Go with that person. If someone tells you, hey, I don't sleep around. I don't do this. I don't like being around too many people. Um, money can buy me, right? I'm self-sufficient. I do as I want on my time. I don't need to be around everybody to feel fulfilled. That is someone that's challenging you to see yourself in a better light. But if you go with the person that said, hey, yeah, that's, that's, uh, I got someone I can bring in bed with us tonight. What the heck are you talking about? That's someone that's enabling you to stay toxic and low vibrational. That's not someone that has any type of good intentions for you. How do you not see that? But when you're toxic, when you're karmic and you've been there for so long, you'll see the high vibrational person as your enemy. You said this, this, uh, little girl, little boy think they're better than me trying to tell me that I need to stop doing this or, you know, they're, they're remembering my flaws and things like that. It's making me feel uncomfortable. So I got to shut them down. There's a masculine out here that has made it his mission to destroy a feminine simply because of his insecurities, his anger issues. Don't got nothing to do with this woman because this woman ain't do nothing to him. What I'm getting on a masculine is that this is one of these people, you say something to them, they take it out of context, and then they come after you. So he, in the karmic, he's been cheating on his wife with. The wife has been tolerating him for years. I don't know if she didn't know he was cheating. I doubt it. She's been tolerating him for years, right? And then he has a karmic out here that has jumped on the bandwagon with him. We're going to destroy this feminine energy, this divine feminine. We're going to tarnish their image and make people believe that they are not worth nothing. And then we're going to force them into like three sums with us and stuff. The, the F are you talking about, Bonnie and Clyde? The F are you talking about, Bonnie and Clyde? This is how the most high of people's ancestors end up wreaking havoc in people's lives. Because you tried it. You went for the wrong lineage. Because some of these lineages don't play out here. They don't play about their family. I'm telling you. They don't play. And there's a masculine that's about to learn this lesson the hard way. He, his ego is still too big. He still don't get it. He still thinks he's going to come in and make some type of false offer to someone. And say, hey, maybe we can start off as friends. This is not someone that's a friend. Hold back. This is someone that's very toxic. Someone likes to control. Someone is very jealous. Stay away from him. This is someone you've probably met before. You've met this man before. You never dated him. Or maybe you dated him some, a long time ago. Not for a long time. Whatever this is. But you are aware when you meet this person, you'll know who it is. You're going to want to keep from them. Keep away from them. But someone is working on how to present themselves to be someone of high honor. You're going to see right through them. You're going to see right through them. Someone that went through stages of plans on how they can come in to defeat you. I'm telling you, they've been planning on how they can come in to defeat you. And every plan they've come up with, the universe has revealed it to you. They say, hey, he's coming in to pretend to be your friend. 
He's coming in to make it seem like he wants to give you a genuine offer. It's a breadcrumbing offer. He's going to come in to tell you that he wants to marry you. Don't do it. It's like every action, every plan he comes up with, the universe is that, hey, we're revealing something to you. We need, to, need you to pay attention. He's about to come in and pretend to be your higher level soulmate. Now that you said you don't want a twin flame, he's coming in to give you a higher level soulmate offer. He's not a higher level soulmate. Calm down. We got it. But we're just asking you to be aware of what it is he's trying to do. Someone says that you are the only one that can tame the beast within him. That's not your responsibility. Someone needs to take the initiative to go and heal. This masculine, there may be a time. And what I'm hearing is that at some point, he may become a shaman. But right now, he still has a long way to go. A long way to go. Because someone is still out here being reckless. Some of you don't know these masculines have been out here trying to get you fired from work. Uh-huh. Trying to cause you all kinds of endings. All kinds of endings. Plotting your endings. Trying to figure out new ways to cause you endings. Gossiping in everything. Paying people. All kinds of stuff to cause illusions about you. And they've had a whole institution that probably they didn't know what they were doing. But they created a whole little thick coven. To come after you. And your tenacity has gotten you through this. Your ancestors have gotten you through this experience. Some of you don't know that a masculine and a karmic feminine behind the scenes nearly destroyed your lives. Nearly destroyed your lives. And the, the, the karmic feminine he chose over you. Oh, a sister is bothered by you. Bothered. Oh my gosh. Someone is bothered but obsessed. At the same time, if you post content, you best believe she don't miss a beat. Everything you post, she sees it. Everything you post, she sees it. And then she goes either to work, goes home, and repeat everything you say so she can sound what? Intellectual. So she can sound, sound what? Educated. Someone brain cells don't even function like they're supposed to. But she's out here playing pretend. I'm telling you. Whatever action he's taking to come towards you is going to be disappointing. Like he, someone is very impulsive. Someone is very impulsive. Impulsive, karmic, narcissist. This is someone that may have fallen from grace and things like that like a long time ago. A long, long time ago. He's going to have to move on. Move on. But someone does not know how to move on because they are narcissists and they are not used to being told no. Someone is used to being able to manipulate very easily. They say, hey, <laughs> I got money. Don't even got that much money. I got money. I'm good looking. I can put it down in the bedroom. That's it. Nothing else of substance. So he's been able to use that on everybody before he met you, men and women. So now he thinks he can come in and play the same with you. This chapter with him is over before he even started. This is a whole king of swords energy. Okay. This is a whole king of swords energy. But he'll get out here and be a king of wands. If that's what you like. Be a king of cups. If that's what you like. Be a king of, uh, uh, of pentacles. If that's what you like. Some of don't even know who they are. They don't even know who it is they are. Karmic as can be. They don't know who they are. And all he does is plot and plan on how he can take you down and cause still mix for you. If he knows that someone is coming towards you, he said it ain't happening. His plans are being halted. Whatever plans he has to cause you a still mix is going to lead to a still mix for him. And it's going to weigh him down. So he can keep saying he's going for it. You may want to go and go fix yourself. Learn how to be in the upright because whoever you're coming towards is holding back from you because they have a more solid offer coming in from someone that is ascending to become a, best, a better version of themselves. This could actually be someone that's already healed, the new masculine, but he is going through some type of recovery. I think it has to do with a heartbreak on a woman that he was with. Okay? And I think there's something with the new masculine. 
He's having to stand his ground against some woman he was dating that turned out to be a facade too. So the both of you, divine feminine, divine masculine, higher level soulmate are going through the same thing. And you will be getting together and you will have wish fulfillment. But this narcissist here has to go through an ending. Someone may have legal issues coming in that oh, he has legal issues going in there are weighing him down. Instead of him focusing on those things, a brother is still focused on you, still focused on coming in to give you some type of offer so he can what? Marry you, live as a bachelor because this is someone that is, that is accustomed to self-sabotage. Martyring himself. Someone will martyr himself with a queen of wands, just like I said. And this woman watches you as well. Like, I don't, I don't get this kind of stuff. It's, I don't know. I don't even know how to verbalize this kind of stuff. It's like they're out here paying people. This queen of wands, queen of swords, energy, whoever this is. She's out here paying people on how they can, to, to have them sneak you. So that you can make some type of uh, choice in life that's going to end up destroying your life. Something like that. Like someone wants to dismantle you, put an end to you so that you're not seen as an empress. She wants to be seen as an empress. Honey, everybody know you're not an empress. So why are you even furthering this mission? You have a lot of legal issues coming in you need to be concerned about. You may want to be one worrying about stealing. I don't know if someone stole from this masculine or something. That may be why they're se uh, separating, that she stole money from him. I mean, that's your karma. Yeah, she stole from him. Spirit is confirming this. Yes, she stole from him. It's a yes. That, 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 ain't, that ain't our business. That don't got nothing to do with our divine feminine. A masculine made his bed. Let him lay in it. Go ahead and lay in it comfortably. Make sure you pulled up your, uh, uh, yeah, it's the God's honest truth. She stole from him. She stole from him. All your plans are being blocked. Someone is having a new offer. It ain't from you. Okay? It ain't from you. There's a new offer in love, but it's not from you, sir, because you haven't done the work. But a sister done went and stole from him, and now he's out here upset, upset. That don't got nothing to do with you. There could be, I don't know, I don't know what this is. There's a feminine energy that stole from another masculine too. There's something like that. I don't know what, it, there are women out here stealing basically. Like I've picked up on a queen of cups that stole some money. I've picked up on a queen of wands that's been stealing, doing a little bit too much out here to be seen as a divine feminine, as an empress, honey, you didn't put in the work. You're not going to be seen as what you are not. Say like someone is trying to force a dress to fit a sh pair of shoes to fit that's two sizes uh, away from hers. So if she wears a size 12, she wants to fit into what? <laughs> a size 10. <laughs> but whatever has been going on, it's like everything is out in the open. People can't hide it anymore. Every day there's some type of truth coming out. It says people are finding out that a masculine energy out here that presents himself to be in the upright is nothing but a facade. This is someone mentally unstable, mentally imbalanced, and he gets offensive when you say things to him or about him that is true. But that is because someone is refusing to go within and self-actualize. And this is why they're always out here upset, angry. Someone has a lot of anger just seething on the inside, and it has nothing to do with the divine feminine that he's after. Like he's upset with a woman because she rejected him. That woman rejected you to protect herself from you. Like someone thinks that he's worthy of you falling from grace for. Are you crazy? You know how hard it, 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 how hard it is to be here being uh, uh, supported by the universe? And you think what? Because you got a what? A ding dong that... Man, don't all men have ding dongs? If they don't know how to use it to get with the right woman, she'll teach them how to use it. Nobody cares about that stuff. Foolishness. Someone thinks that they're, they're just the bee's knees. There's a sister that says, well, the dogs bow wow and the cats meow. It's uh, the great oracle goddess Nephilim. She says that on her channel. It cracks me up every time she says it. I'm like, that's hilarious as heck. He thought he was the 
dogs by a while and the cats me on. No, 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 no. Not for everybody. There are people that actually want to date because of substance, not because of physical appearance, not because of material. There are people out here that don't give two hits about any of that. So you can keep all that. They don't care. But because someone has been able to woo people his whole life and pretend to be something he's not his whole life and people buy that because a lot of people in our society, they refuse to see things uh, on a deeper level than just the service level. And it's easier for a lot of people to just stay in their lower energy. Oh, he's been able to get away with that. So he thought he was going to get away with it with a queen of cups. No, 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 no. That ain't how it goes. You can be you can believe your foolishness, your clowning, your clowness, whatever they say, your clowning, clowning. Listen, English is not my first language. If you all haven't picked up and I'm not here to stress myself. You all know what I mean. Like he's out here being a clown, but he wants you to be okay with it. But nah, honey, at, at some point, yeah, we all go through that stage where we dig the bad boy. But when you get to a certain age, the bad boy should not be attractive to you anymore. It should be like repulsive. Is that you're still, what? You're in your 30s, your 40s, and 50s, and you're still a bad boy? Come on. Come on now. Come on. And then want to be in your feelings when you when you get rejected. Now, which one is it? Are you a bad boy? Or are you in your feelings? Because bad boys, they say they don't got no feelings. They, they are on bother, right? They are on bother. So someone is set on causing you obstacles until you accept his offer. And your ancestors are going to cause him obstacles too until he heals and find his, finds his life purpose. Okay. We got the fence. Um, so there may be some obstacles and restrictions going on. But you know what? In your success life collective, it'll be, it'll be overcome. You are destined to be successful with the fence out here. When you And I said this on my page. When you see an open fence, that means that the, all the obstacles have been removed. When you see a closed fence, that means that there is some type of obstacle that will be taking place, but it will be resolved and removed in due time. So you'll be okay. Okay? There is some type of restriction or some type of obstacle that's taking place. And maybe because there's a third party interfering with your life but over time there is coming a point where this this is going to be taken care of and you won't have to deal with it anymore okay like something someone has been doing um the universe is going to connect you with the right person or touch the right person to undo it because someone is just out here unhinged and they don't realize that they are unhinged because people have allowed this person or people haven't been able to see the truth about this person for a long time and the fact that someone sees this person is bothering him he's pissed off so he's like going full-blown bad s-h-i-t crazy out here on you and trying to block your life everything wants to destroy your life but you're good you have a new beginning coming in we have 31 4 which, which sums down to four. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is steering with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. I am disciplined, which is what this brother needs is to be disciplined. But when you're not trying to get help and you've made your life mission to destroy people, this is what happens. Anyways, it said breakthrough. There you go. The obstacle is over already. Look at that. Will you look at that? Navigates life many twists and turns with elegance and resilience. Magic opportunity. So you may have some type of opportunity coming through, coming in for you because of how you handle some type of situation, how you maneuver your way through some type of situation with class and elegance. And there is someone behind the scenes that sees it. Now, we're not saying you were perfect. You probably made a lot of mistakes and things like that. Or, you know, maybe you, you, um, like, you know, you glitch here and there. That's human nature. You all need to stop putting those things against yourself. You are human. You're meant to make mistakes. You're meant to be flawed. That's part of our experiences and things like that. And us, uh, becoming the best version of ourselves. But you've handled some type of hard situation with elegance and grace uh, and you display a lot of resilience and people are finding out that you're not as easy to take down as they thought. There's something like that going on. But you do have a magical opportunity that's coming for you. 
and it's coming quick and no one is going to be able to block it because this is something that's destined for you and what's destined for you can never be taken from you by mankind anyways thank you for watching stay blessed i'll stay blessed i'll see you in my next read goodbye for now